Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome back to my channel. We're here to do something that's a little bit different for me. We're gonna try my hand at a Shop My Stash. In years past, I've done Shop My Stash, I've done Monthly Favorites, I've done Project Pans, and sometimes things like Project Pans and Shop My Stashes take a little bit of the fun of makeup out for me when it's something I feel like I have to use. However, I do have a project pan going on this year. I can say I'm not very successful at it because I haven't been wearing makeup on a daily because I have an almost eight month old at the house who keeps me up all night, along with my almost four year old daughter. So makeup is not something that I'm wearing like on the daily anymore, but when I do wear makeup, when I do get ready, I have this basket of products and I've been keeping it in my bathroom, not on my vanity because my son's still sleeping in our room. So I go into the bathroom and if I'm putting makeup on, these are the products that I'm reaching for. So I guess you could call it Shop My Stash. They're the products that are in my everyday makeup basket. So I thought I would show you what I have and I'm going to change out a few things. I'm, I'm going to pull a few items out and I'll just, I'll let you know what we're going to be using for a while. I don't know, a month, two months, we'll see. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking, I love makeup, I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the K Bella fam. But why don't we go ahead and jump into the video. First up, I do only have two primers in my collection and I use them both simultaneously. It's these two right here. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Nice and My Dew Drops and the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas. I love to use these. I have dry skin. I love skin that looks hydrated and glowy and fresh. So first I go in with, I'd say probably two pumps of the Glow Recipe, put it all over my face, let it sink in, and then I'll take the Tatcha Silk Canvas and just put it where my pores are larger and on my forehead for a little bit of a smoothing effect. So like I said, those are the only only two primers that I have so they kind of stay in this in this basket they're gonna stay in this basket I've been using them but I have also been pulling in from my project pan the auric glow lust in the shade morganite now typically when I do use this I will mix it in with a foundation if it's a little bit of a thicker foundation which isn't typically my go-to the way I've been using it right now for my project pan is I'll put a pump on the back of my hand and kind of put it where I like to put highlighter on my face and I'll even put a little bit on my chin, the tip of my nose, and I'll put it on after I prime, but under foundation. I also have been using, I don't know why I'm talking so fast. I feel like I'm talking so fast. I've also been using this Sigma Color Corrector. This is the Spectrum Color Correcting Duo in light to medium. Now on a day today, if I'm just like, getting ready for work or trying to throw makeup on real fast, I wouldn't really reach for a color corrector when I'm filming or editing or going out or doing something where I have the opportunity to take time to put my makeup on. I will reach in for this. I just mixed both colors and again, I'll put it on before foundation and I do struggle with darkness on the inner corner of my eyes. So I will use this on the inner corner for that. So I'm gonna keep this in my little makeup basket, I guess you could call it. Now I do have two foundations in here. And I am going to keep the same two foundations. The first is the one that's in my project pan. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation in the shade Light 2. This is not the one I've been reaching for. I'm gonna tell you about the one I've been reaching for, but it's in my project pan, so I wanna keep it in my basket. The one I've been reaching for, and I'm gonna keep it in here, is by Patrick Ta. And this is the Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo in the shade Light 1. Now, I don't use the powder. I have to say, I don't use the powder. I only use the foundation. I'm trying to lift it up here. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a good dip going there. I think you can see it. There's a nice dip. What I do is I take my sponge, dip my sponge directly in here, and put it all over the face. It's the foundation that I'm wearing today. It gives me a nice, hydrated, glowy, dewy finish. And honestly, when I've been applying foundation, this is the foundation I've been reaching for. And the reason why I'm not switching it out, why I'm going to keep it in here is one, I've been enjoying it. I really like this foundation. I like the way that it makes my skin look glowy and healthy and dewy. But I also figured if I tried to pull it out of my makeup basket in order to force myself to use another foundation, 
I'm losing the opportunity to possibly hit pan on here. Like I know this is not in my project pan, this one is in my project pan because it's the oldest foundation in my collection, but I've been reaching for this one more. So I'm kind of like, I'm not wearing makeup on a daily, but I do still want to get use out of my makeup. So I'm thinking I might be able to hit pan here on this cream foundation. So we're going to keep this one in there. Love it. Been loving it. What's next? Concealers. I don't keep a ton of concealers in my collection. I did have the Kos this is a spoiler alert. I did have the Kosas concealer in my project pan, but when I used it when I was getting ready for the rodeo in my vlog, I smelled it and it like smelled off. It smelled really bad. So I'm going to go ahead and call that done and not continue to use it on my face. What I am going in with is my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. I have L5. I wish I had L4. So I'm also going to be keeping my Milani Conceal and Perfect in 115 Light Nude as well because as you can see, it is lighter, so I take the Pat McGrath and I'll put it just right where I have like some darkness and then I'll take the Milani and just kind of tap it on top and blend it in with a sponge and that's really been working for me. So we're going to keep this in there as well. I do have two powders and I'm going to keep these two powders in here. The first is the powder that's in my project pan by Hourglass and it's almost done. Like I really don't have that much left in here. It's the translucent powder. So I'm going to keep that in there. I would love to finish that off, but I've also been trying my Christmas gift from Smegs. It's the Givenchy Prism Libre. I have shade three. Va Voila Rose, Vo Volet Rose, shade three. I have shade three. Okay. I, I've tried this little puff thing. I don't love it with the puff. Typically, I just pour it into the cap and use my sponge, but Smegs did get this for me for Christmas, so I want to keep it in there and get some more use out of it. Some other products. Okay. This is another spoiler alert. So I did have this in my project pan by Vive. This is the Vive Vanilla Eye Wand, but I have this and the Sigma and I've been using these as bases, and they're pretty much the same thing, except I've had the Vive for longer, and I'm almost wondering if it's no longer good. I don't remember when I got it, but I know it's been several years, and since these do the same thing, even though this is in my project pan, I think I'm going to get rid of it. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I'm going to move it out of my makeup basket, say that that's something that needs to be pitched. And I am going to keep my Sigma one in here along with the Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Invisi Pink Eye Primer. So this one has a color to it, a base to it. This one is clear. So I kind of go in with them. I won't use them both at the same time, but inter interchangeably. So I'm going to keep those in my makeup basket. I also don't change what I'm using for brows. So I have the Patrick Ta Major Brow Definer Pencil in Blonde along with the Lamination Gel and then my ABH Brow Definer in Caramel which is almost done. So that's in there. Those will not change. The two eyeliners that I've been using, I have the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Perversion. When I am tight lining, I will use that to tight line. And then I have Boundless Bisque, which is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil that I use in my waterline to brighten up. So I'm going to keep there, those in there. Those won't change. This is where we're going to have some movement. So... I'm going to keep this in here. It is my Film Star Bronze and Glow in Fair Medium from Charlotte Tilbury because this is in my project pan and I do want to hit pan on it. I typically go in with a more dense brush and I'll use the sculpt side and kind of put that like you would a contour. So we're going to keep this in there. But lately, probably for the past three months, I've had my Dior forever natural bronze and 05 warm bronze in there and I've been using this on top of the Charlotte Tilbury. Now this is great. It's buildable. I find that it, I go in with a light hand. I can build it up. It's it's nice. I struggle with hard pan on it sometimes but I don't have an issue using this. It's a great bronzer but I want to move this out and I want to bring in another bronzer. Now I'm dropping stuff. I want to bring in my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is in the shade 2 Medium. And so these two bronzers I will use together, the Sculpt, to kind of do a little bit more of a contour. And then this is a little bit warmer than the Dior one. So I will use this with a big fluffy brush to get some bronzing in. 
So that's a little swap -a that we're doing. And then I did have two blushes in here. I did get the Gucci blush. This is Rosy Beige from the Sephora VIB sale, I'm pretty sure, and I've been using it and loving it ever since. I could easily keep it in here and use it every single day, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one out. And instead, I'm gonna bring in an old favorite. This is my Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Seychelles. This has been a top favorite for so long, but it's been just sitting in my drawer not getting used for a while. So I wanna throw this in my makeup basket. I also picked up around holiday time. This was the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Divine Blush Nude Venus 2. I think this was her holiday release. This one I've had in my basket and I'm going to keep it in my basket because I think I got this in December or maybe January and I haven't used it a ton when I've been picking between these two. The Gucci has been winning so I'm going to go ahead and keep this in here as well. I am going to change out my highlight. I could easily use this highlighter every single day. It's my favorite. The Natasha Denona Super Glow. I have a dip in it. I have the shade 01 Fair, but I'm going to pull that out and I want to give myself a chance to use this Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter in Lunar Allure. Now, I have not been a fan of Pat McGrath highlighters in the past because they were chunky and glittery. This is the highlighter that I'm wearing today, but this one doesn't have any chunks of glitter. I don't know if it's a different formula than like the one that I have in her trio with her two blushes, but I love this one. I feel like this one is great. It's definitely a bam in your face highlight like I love. So we are going to add this one to my makeup basket. I just noticed there are a couple other things I forgot to mention that are in here that are going to stay in here. I do have the ColourPop Flexitarian Super Shock Cheek. This is the highlighter, but I use this as an inner corner pop, typically the inner corners of my eyes, whether I'm wearing eyeshadow or not. So I'm going to keep that in there for an inner corner pop. And then I have these two mascaras. I don't have a ton of mascaras and I don't keep a ton open, but the mascaras that I've been using that I'm wearing today are Lan Lancome Monsieur Big that I go in with first, and then I take Benefit Roller Lash and kind of spread that out. So that is going to stay in the basket as well. I'm just trying to get everything back in here neatly now that we've changed up a few things. I don't know how often I will film a what's in my makeup basket video because as you can see I didn't change a ton. These are just kind of staple items, a mixture of what I want to use mixed with Project Pan and this is what's going to stay in my basket. So just thought I would share that with you, thought it would be interesting. I'm not choosing lip products or eyeshadow because I kind of change those based on my mood but I do want to say when I am getting ready quickly or just throwing some eyeshadow on super fast. The eyeshadow palette that I have been reaching for lately is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. This is not a new palette, but it's new to me. That's why mine looks lightly loved, not very used. Like I said, eyeshadow is typically like the first to go when I'm doing my makeup. If I just have like a little bit of time and I'm putting it on, I'll spend time on my complexion and not put eyeshadow on. But when I am reaching for eyeshadow, this is the one that wins out. Okay, but that's going to do it for this video for this Shop My Stash, what's in my everyday makeup basket. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Like I said, not sure how often I'll film this, but if I do change things out again in a month, two months, in the summer, whatnot, I will definitely update you. I would love to know what is in your everyday makeup drawer, everyday makeup basket. What are your favorites? What are you reaching for? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're subscribed before you go. That way, I can see you in the next one. Bye.